Hello and welcome to Virtualize Everything. Today we're going to take a look at some configuration features inside of the Proxmox web interface that I just found out about. I'm sure they've been here for a while, but due to some viewer comments, I found out that these configurations can be applied to Proxmox with the web interface instead of having to use the command line. The first thing we're going to need to do to start configuring Proxmox to use your Google or Gmail server through the web interface is head to data center. At data center, we're gonna scroll all the way down and we're gonna click notifications. You should get a screen that looks like so. Now that we're here at the notification screen, we can start the steps of configuring Proxmox to work with our Gmail account. In order to start this step, we need to come up here to notifications target, and we need to click on add. Clicking on add, we're gonna select STMP, and we're gonna give it a name. Let's call ours Gmail today. For server, we're gonna enter stmp.gmail.com. For encryption, we're gonna select start TLS or we're going to use 587. Now for our username, we're going to enter our Google account username and for password, we're going to need to do the appropriate steps to get the app password from Google. At your Gmail account, you're going to want to make sure that you have two-step verification turned on. You can notice that I've already pre-configured this step. Then you're going to want to view to myaccount.google.com slash app passwords. And you'll get this screen here. If you get another screen, you may not have two-factor authentication turned on, or you may need to log out and log back in. Then you should get this password. Here at this screen, we're going to give it an app name of Proxmox. And once we've given it an app name, which you can choose as to whatever you would like, you could call it dog, cat, or Proxmox. And we can hit create. Now it's going to automatically generate our password. You want to copy this password, head back to your Proxmox. Here in our Proxmox web interface, we're going to paste this in where it says password. Now for our from email address, we're going to go ahead and use whatever we entered into the field of user, which should be our email address to our Gmail account. Recipients are going to be root and am. And if we have any additional email addresses that we would like this information to go to, we can also enter that here in this field. Since we don't we can go ahead at this point and click add. You can see that our new notification target has been added. Now, before we do any more testing, we need to understand these rules and then do some more configuration after we fully understand what's going on here below it, which is we're using send mail, all emails generated by the Proxmox system to Pam and the configured email address for root and Pam. So that means if we don't have the correct email address set in our system for the user account root, we won't receive any emails. To configure that user email address, we're going to scroll up in this bar, select users, select our group, hit edit enter our correct email address here. For the sake of this video, we're going to use ve.test.video.gmail.com. Now that we've configured that email address, we can go back down here to notifications, select Gmail, and we want to do a test. So we'll hit yes. And we notice that we've got an error message. So it's saying that it couldn't communicate with Gmail. So let's go ahead, double click on Gmail and take a look at the problem. And right away, I see that I entered STMO instead of STMP. So let's hit OK. 
select Gmail again, press test, and yes, and it says that it sent the test notification with no further error messages. Clicking OK, we can go back to our Gmail account, and you can see that we got a test notification from the target Gmail. So that way we know that we have everything configured. Let's see if we're getting system emails. So to do so, let's head back to the Proxmox web interface and let's make something to back up. First thing we're going to need is a CT template. To get the CT template, we're gonna click local, CT templates, templates, select an image, press download, when the download finishes, we can close the screen. Then we can go create templates, give it a password, enter the password again, and move through the steps of this wizard so that we have a so that we have a container that we can back up. This should trigger an email notification allowing us to test our system. Now that it says task OK, we'll again close this window. Now that our container has been created and we've closed the creation screen, we can go ahead, select the container, select backup and press backup now. Now we should, now we should be able to enter our email address here in the send mail to, press backup. And when this backup task completes, it'll send us a notification that it has done so. Now that it says task OK, let's go ahead, close the window, open our email, and see if we've received anything. If all goes well, we should have received something, and we haven't. So we have more configuration to do in our Proxmox web interface. Let's once again select data server, scroll down, select notifications. Now that we're here, at notifications once again let's take a look at notification matchers i believe this is the problem why when we do a backup of container 100 we're not receiving an email so let's so let's select default matcher click modify and i believe the setting we want is targets to notify and you can see mail to root is selected and we want to change that to gmail We'll unselect mail to root because we don't want our mail to go to our root. We want it to go to the Gmail target. So we'll select OK. And with that feature changed, let's once again go back to container 100. Select backup. Hit backup now. Press backup. And now that our backup has finished and we've gotten task OK, you can see we no longer sending mail to root we're actually sending mail to the target of Gmail. So that's a promising sign that we have successfully set up notifications. Let's go ahead, go to our Gmail account and verify it. But let's close this window first. Now here at our Gmail account, you can see a me, which is because it comes from the same email address. And you can see that we have successfully gotten an email about a successful backup. Clicking on it, we can get a report and we can verify and look and see that everything did indeed successfully complete for the backup of container 100. And we also now know that our email notifications have been successfully set up for our Proxmox server using the Proxmox web interface and the notifications tab underneath the data center configurations. I hope you enjoyed tonight's video on configuring email notifications inside of the Proxmox web interface. And you're now able to start using your Gmail account to notify yourself about happenings inside of your Proxmox server. As always, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing to help virtualize everything grow, and have a good night.